What's up everyone? I'm Bob Tompkins with Real Broker LLC and living in South Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about what to do in Clemson, South Carolina. Clemson, South Carolina, you have probably heard of it because of the football team and the success that they have had in recent years. Clemson is tucked right in the northwest corner of South Carolina in the foothills of the mountains. From Clemson, you can see the Appalachian Mountains. It is an absolutely fantastic city that people absolutely love for many more reasons than just football. Now, while you've probably heard of Clemson because of their football team, there are many other things to do in that town. And today we're going to be talking about a few of my favorite things that you can do or check out while in Clemson, South Carolina. For those of you who may be visiting Clemson, going to school in Clemson, or moving to Clemson, one of the best things about this town is its nightlife. Downtown Clemson is just crawling with good bars, and there are so many places to check out. Of those bars, there are exactly three that I think are absolute must-visits in Clemson, and here they are. Number one is the Esso Club in Clemson, maybe one of the most iconic bars in Clemson. It has been a tailgater's favorite spot for years and years and years. My dad went to Clemson back in the 1960s, and he himself has had quite a few beers at the SO Club while enjoying some Clemson football. Number two on that list of bars is TD's of Clemson. It is a fantastic bar located right at the entry to downtown, known for good wings, but also cheap drinks. I have to say, after I turned 21, I experienced quite a few nights at TD's of Clemson. TD's of Clemson has some great nightlife. It is a very enjoyable bar, extremely lively on the weekends during the school year. If that's the sort of atmosphere you're looking for, you are going to find it at TD's. But the third and final bar on that list is Loose Change Bar and Grill in Clemson. It is my personal favorite bar in Clemson. They have some of the best foods and one of the coolest atmospheres in downtown Clemson. I'm a bar junkie and I love me some loose change. Next on my list of things to do in Clemson, South Carolina is exceptionally cool, especially if you're a foodie. Back in the 1940s, Clemson University had what they called a cheese research project. Out of that project comes a very unique find, which is Clemson's blue cheese. Clemson has been making this blue cheese since the 1940s. They make it the old fashioned way in 288 gallon vats that produce 240 pounds of blue cheese each. This blue cheese is then salted, waxed, and aged for six months, and it is exceptional. I know it's exceptional because I have had it, and I absolutely love this blue cheese. If you're a blue cheese fan, it is some of the best blue cheese you're gonna find. And if you're in Clemson, you can find that blue cheese at 55 Exchange on campus. You have to check this blue cheese out. If alcohol and cheese isn't enough to entice you in Clemson, well, you're in luck. Clemson still has so much more to offer. Next on my list is the Clemson Lakes. Clemson is conveniently located, tucked in between three different lakes in the upstate of South Carolina. You have Lake Hartwell, Lake Kiwi, and Lake Jocassi, which all surround Clemson University. Kiwi and Jocassi are wildly acclaimed as two of the best lakes in South Carolina, and then Hartwell is one of the largest. In fact, Lake Hartwell runs right up to Death Valley, which is where the Clemson Tigers play. You can see from the stands people out on their boats in Lake Hartwell. If you enjoy hanging out on the lake, casting a line, or just enjoying some time in the sun, you can absolutely accomplish that in Clemson. All you have to do is know somebody with a boat. Now, if you've gotten this far into this video, you might say, hey, that's great, but I've got little kids 
And in Clemson, I don't want to hop bars. I don't want to eat blue cheese. And we really don't want to hang out on the lake. What's there to do for families? Well, Clemson has one of the best botanical gardens in the country. Clemson's botanical garden covers 298 acres, and it started as just a little Camilla preserve on a parcel of land just adjacent to John C. Calhoun's Fort Hill estate. The botanical gardens are absolutely beautiful. You have the ability to walk through all sorts of different nature and landscapes and really soak in the open air. One of the coolest things about the botanical gardens is it is completely free. South Carolina has made this its state botanical garden and they put so much into this. It is nurtured by the University of Clemson and it is just terrific. If you're looking for something to go do with the family and let your kids just explore nature, the Clemson Botanical Gardens are just a true treasure of the upstate. Now, these have been my things to do while visiting Clemson, South Carolina. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, check out one of our other videos, and we are looking forward to seeing you next time on Living in South Carolina.